Worldwide Podcast. All right, all right, all right, all right. Are we live? Are we live? Are we back on? We are live. We're live. We're live. We're live. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, that was Shay Samuel season. There's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. There is nobody like you. Amen. So you are um, with the Christian Party Line, CPL, and we've already in- uh, introduced um our our host, our co-host tonight, and our special guest. But I want to reintroduce, just in case we know a lot of people come on at twelve midnight. We had a special opening tonight with the next man up um, host, uh, Doctor Dean. I can't say it in his order. I'm gonna learn it because all these new names coming up. Doctor President Dean, Pastor Doctor Kelly. <laughs> just brother Paul. Host of PTI. You got it. You got it. Host of PTI. Host of PTI. I'm gonna learn it. Actually, I'm gonna put it on the index card. I'm definitely gonna learn it. I'm gonna put it on. And then next week he's gonna have another title. And so it's just like God just keeps on increasing. And I just thank God for that, Doctor Kelly. Um, so you. we had the we had the pleasure of opening up. You know. I'm just going to tell you guys, like I was listening in at 10 p.m. and I was all excited because this was like the kickoff of the next man up. And, you know, you know how Paula G and I feel, you know, how Chanel Lemeloy feels and Patrice Jackson feels. You guys tried to take our shine on a Friday night. But we got them. <laughs> I love it. We, yeah. You know, we, yeah, we got like, y'all, you know, we know really what this was it. about. We That's understand, you know, that. The ladies of late night radio was on Friday nights at midnight and we kind of started the stage and, you know, and, and then you guys kind of got some of our material. And when you got the material, <laughs> enough material, you said, okay, we're ready to go on Friday night at 10 o'clock. That's it. We had to rehearse. And take me. And so, so, yes, so we, we did it. But I will tell you the truth. I will tell you the truth. When you guys were talking, I love I love that the men are going Let's before see. us. I love it. There's such a covering uh, that yeah. I feel we might have been Amen. missing on a Friday night. So I feel that there's a there's a covering. You guys are setting the stage in a different way. And so not just for uh, Christian Party Line, but even for late night radio. So I'm looking for Fridays to be completely, completely different. Amen. Hey, man, hopefully we'll, so we're going to. Hopefully we're going to usher another mighty man of God on that platform. Amen. Host uh, Mrs. Shea Sams. Amen. The artist of season. Thank you for having us. Hopefully we're going to usher a man, the anointed voice of wisdom as Paula G has, uh, I guess you can say, uh, ushered his name, a new name, Mr. Brandon Royce. We, we go, we oh, go I love on it. That platform. Yeah. You, you might as well get ready. I see some great things. You might as well get ready. I just it's a blessing and so I'm really looking it forward is. to what Friday night it is a powerful impactful yeah. Friday night and I look forward to it I want to uh, say hi to my two sisters um, that are on the line I know that we introduced you guys but I want to find out how your week has been uh, this week so Chanel Lynn Malloyd I know you are on with us hi sister in radio Hey, sis, how are you? I'm just wondering. I am wonderful, blessed. It's after midnight. It's time to party. <laughs> Honey, I'm just glad to be in the house with such great people. Amen, <laughs> amen. And we also have Patrice Jackson, our sister, the entrepreneur. She had 12 cups of coffee. I heard it before the music break. So, Patrice Jackson, give it to us. <laughs> I um I had a good week. I had a lot of technical difficulties, so it was a little bit hard, but it made it made coming you know on the show tonight even better because you know we can't get wait till we get to Friday night. It ends the week right. That's right. It it, it actually starts the weekend even better. I would say we we start like the weekend that. off this way every Friday. So I thank God for that. I want to say hi and shout out to all the listeners tonight on Facebook Live or PositivePower21.org. Or if you're listening on Spreaker Radio, I just want to say thank you for tuning in. You know that every time you tune in, you are going to have an awesome, awesome time, especially in the Lord. And we have a special guest with us, and he's been on the PTI show. He's been on Late Night Radio. And we're going to snatch him up for a couple of minutes before he exits stage right. Mr. Brandon Royce, the son of Jerry Royce, 
is in the building. Oh, hey. Hi, Mr. Royce. How are you? Hey, hey. Let me say no. Let me say. Let me say Brandon Royce because the other Royce will definitely say something. Just for just for the <laughs> next couple of seconds, Jerry. I'm gonna call you Batman Royce, and then Jerry, and then Batman Brandon Royce. Royce. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Brandon Royce, how are you this this morning? Uh, doing well. Truly blessed. Highly favored. How are you? Amen. I'm great. Thank you so much for staying with us. We know that you have to hit stage right, exit stage right. So we are going to go ahead and get the show going. I just appreciate you taking the time out to be with us tonight and allowing us to fill some of your time. I know that this topic um, for the last couple of weeks we have been, I think this is the second week, I think, that we have been um, blessed with one of your devotionals. And it's amazing to me because when they're sent to me, they are very in depth. And so we normally have a really good discussion on the call. And I think when we started getting these devotionals, although the other conversations have been grounded, this really gives us a guide. And these devotionals are coming uh, by way of you. And so I just wanted you to talk to us a little bit about the devotionals and how you receive them, what you get. And is this something that other people can actually get a hold of to get on a daily basis? Uh. Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> no, um, okay. yeah, I, you know, <laughs> it's funny because I, I actually am on a bunch of uh, subscription lists. And so, you know, I'm constantly studying and, you know, just trying to continue to show myself approved um, to God. And, and you know, in the midst of doing that in prayer and everything, you know, I, I just get words sometimes, um, sometimes I. Um, I take from the devotion and I'll just add my, you know, analysis of it or what have you, introduction to it and closing of it. But it, it, it just, it, it really depends. But um, I'm just a firm believer in um, starting my morning off right by prayer and devotion. And and so I Absolutely. feel like, you know, I don't want to be selfish in that. I want to share it. And so I have a distro list, of course, because you're on one of them. I have a text list and I have an email list. And so if anybody wants to be a part of it, they you know they're more than welcome to they can reach out to to Jerry Royce and he can um get them taken care of but yeah it's, it's truly a blessing to be able to be a blessing to other people that's why we're here amen 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 definitely and these are blessings because you know what there are times throughout the course of the week and I know that my sisters are the same way because we are we are really really grounded though when we get these, of course, I go through, I go through the scripture. And the one thing I picked up, it says, if you want to, if you want to rise up spiritually, you need to hang out with people who will inspire you to go higher, to there higher expectations and to help you reach, um, to help you reach others. Right. Yes, and yes. so, um, I, I enjoyed that because that's what this is all about. Kingdom building. And I think yes. the, uh, for the two shows that I've heard you talk about, um, be, you know, interview on, or just kind of converse on, You've been talking about kingdom building. So just for our listeners, talk about why it's so important to connect with people who will bring you up, raise you up for the for the sake of building the kingdom. Oh, yes. Thank you. Um, You know, before I get into the the spiritual aspect, I was thinking about um, an interview that I heard maybe a couple of years ago. I don't recall. But basically the the um, the interviewer asked the the guest about, um, you know, the people that you surround yourself with and the notion that mm. um, you are or you become the people who you surround yourself with. And so if you're with people who are, Amen. you know, um, lackadaisical or, you know, unmotivated, you know, don't have any kind of ambition as motivated as a, and as ambitious as you are, they'll begin to sap your mm-hmm. energy and, and you'll, and you'll be, begin to assimilate to them because they're drawn away you know, that positive energy that you have. And so it's the same way in the spiritual world. Um, Although I Mm. think it's a lot more dangerous because the stakes are higher when we're talking about the spirit world, because if we fall away and and we deceive ourselves, then we spend eternity apart from God. And so I I think it's really important for us to first have a foundation that's strong an identity that's strong um, because in, in so doing we won't, help but attract other people who are like-minded and and who are also Mm -hmm. of the body and so it starts with us and then once we you know have worked on our salvation and our relationship we can then um, be partnered with other people 
Um, one, because they see the light in us. And then, you know, two, because we are drawn to them in that same way. And so it, it's just it's just very important. It's, it's crucial to the body of Christ. We have a responsibility. You know, first and foremost, he's called us to, to serve each other for his glory. Um, and so if for no other reason, you know, just walking in obedience, you know. But I take great pleasure in it. So it, it's it's much deeper than just being obedient to God. It's, it, you know, it's, it's not as robotic as that for me. It's, it's a great pleasure to, to be, you know, obedient to his will um, because he's never let me down, never forsaken me. And so, I, you know, it, it's just an indescribable feeling, you know, being about kingdom building. Amen. 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 I know that I'm, I get excited about it because I think about when we all came together on this um, radio show and how we all came from different walks of life. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that really brought us together was the Positive Power 21 family. And so I was just I was just in awe because I know when I first started the CPL, um, the, the Christian Party line, I hadn't met Chanel, I hadn't met Patrice, and Paula was going on right before us, and she would introduce us and kind of release the call. And I heard Dr. P um, Kelly on his shows, and but as far as ladies, I, I tell your dad all the time, we came on a radio show, we connected the first night, right, ladies? <laughs> Praise God. Amen. We sure did. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, That's if you can play that first show back, yeah, and that is power. That's power. That's but power. here's the thing: it took a great leader for him to put the women together because women could be, you know, and this is, I'm a woman, so I can say this, mm -hmm. but sometimes we can be very fickle. Mm -hmm. And so you bring women together and sometimes it can be of a competitive nature. Sometimes you don't know what comes out of women, mm -hmm. but we came together collaboratively for one common goal. And that was to build the kingdom to all the listeners listening. And what I love about this show is that we actually build one another up while we're on the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. I, I absolutely yeah. love that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And so, yeah. Dr. Kelly, I'm going to bring it to you. I know for a fact that you are one of our, you're not only just one of the, you know, the pe the pastor of the Positive Power 21 family, but yes, I think, man. you know, when we think of you, we think of you, too, as a leader, and we see you as a leader. So for me, I would say connecting with you, you're, you're raising me up to be better, 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 better every day with your teachings and just watching how God does what he needs to do with you and how he's done it, even with with your wife oh my god here she oh, got on the line and was like i have nothing to, <laughs> <laughs> nothing to say i'm just in the background i'm just gonna sit in the background right i'm gonna just sit in the background and i mean i i was on the air that night and i just text jerry and said i'm listening tonight like i needed mm -hmm. to get this feeding but because of this i'm always looking at the opportunities that i have to learn as well so talk to us dr kelly how important it is, is it for us to really surround ourselves with people that we can connect with for the sake of building the kingdom. Praise God. Shea Sam's uh, seasons with Shea Sam's. Amen. The host and also the co-host Paula G, Lady of Wisdom. We thank you as well, man, for having us in the Christian party line. Patrice Jackson. Amen. The sister, the entrepreneur. Amen. And Miss Chanel, my Lord, we often reach out to her. Amen. To console her in prayer. The sister in radio. Praise God. And Mr. Brandon Royce. Amen. The devotional stuff that he's sharing with this platform. And I heard him say, showing your approval, showing your approval, kingdom building. Praise God. I take all this to heart. Amen. And shout out to Mr. Jerry Royce, my partner in ministry. Praise God. That's a powerful question, real sister. If you allow me, amen, to uh, expound on that question, amen, through Mr. Brandon's commentary. Uh, but from the pastor of a heart, Ephesians 3 this very platform, amen, reflects Ephesians 3 and 14. This show on tonight, when it comes to family, amen, Paul said in that 14th verse right there, and it's just that one verse I just want to reflect on, Ephesians 3 and 14. For this reason, mm -hmm. when it comes to, amen, a unity and serving, amen, with people, amen, Mr. Shea Sam, as you said, is so powerfully, amen, who are connected with God. He said, for this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm just going to go with that verse. So what are we saying? Amen. What is Paul is saying? He's saying, amen, the family of God includes all who have believed in him in the past. And I said this on the previous show, 
all who believe in him in the present, Mrs. Paul G., amen, everyone, amen, and all who believe him right now. We are in the now. We are right now. We are all a family because we have the same father, which is God. He is the source of all creations. Amen. He is the rightful owner, Mrs. Shea Sam, of everything. And he promised us a positive power platform through Jerry Royce. I'm going to leave it right there because it brings tears and joy to my heart. Ladies, I'm, I'm going to leave it right there. The pastor, y'all know the pastor be crying. I, I, I will. I, I will really. <laughs> and there are tears of joy. There are tears mm-hmm. of joy. Thank okay. you, Mrs. J. Sam. That is a powerful question, ma'am. Amen. We Amen. We need each other. <laughs> we do. We do. This was a powerful message for me, though, because I feel like even, Absolutely. you know, shout out to the Steve Joy Network as well. Um, you know, we have an opportunity to connect. And I love how Jerry Cross promotes. I love how C. Joy Cross promotes. And I love the fact that, again, it goes back to not having that comp- not having that competitive uh, spirit where we cannot, because we get there and we forget that we are attempting, not attempting, our goal and our mission is to build the kingdom. And Absolutely. So when we do that, we lock arms with people who have the same mission, who have the same heart, who have like minds, and we build on the kingdom. Uh, uh, Ronnie Jefferson, the fire. Look how, I mean, I, I, I love how he cross promotes. And this is, we have the opportunity on the airways to do what most people on foot can't do. Mm. Amen. And so utilizing Amen. our platforms for such a thing, I, I, I really, um, I'm just grateful to be a part of something um, this big. So, again, shout out to Jerry Royce. Um, for the vision, one man plants a seed, another man waters, and God is the nourisher. So uh, Jerry Wish is watching and hearing what God is doing with you and that we all get a chance to be a part of it. I'm blessed, um, and I know that we all are. I'm going to go to my sister, uh, Chanel Lynn Malloyd, and I'm, I'm really going to let you go in on this one because I'm going to read a scripture to you, and I just want you to, you know, talk about what that means to the body. Um, Proverbs 27 17, iron sharpens iron, and one man sharpens another. Praise God. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, iron definitely sharpens iron. You know, the saying where, you know, if you, or if you have a group of friends and you're the smartest one um, in the room, then, you know, you, you're doing all the teaching, but who's teaching you? Hmm. You know, everybody's learning from you, but who are you learning from? So who's helping you to grow? And so it is important that um, you are surrounded by uh, people who are um, already are where you're headed. Uh, And it's also important that, you know, that you be on one accord. You mentioned something about, um, you said something about being competitive and um, so on and so forth. And I just think that it's just, it's important that um, not only do, not only um, should we be um, like-minded as the Bible says, but we have to make sure that we don't have selfish ambitions. We have to make sure that we aren't operating in the spirit of, spirit of pride um, or division or just basically any kind of selfish ambitions or anything that would cause division, you know, we have to make sure that we don't do or say anything to tear down anybody else and what, you know what I'm saying? These are the things that causes division, but everything that we ought to do ought to be in love in the bond of peace, keeping unity because, you know, and that, that the Bible talks to, I mean, the Bible just is throughout just about the whole Bible, how, you know, even Paul and um, Luke and, you know, they just, you know, even (laughs) Jesus, you know what I'm saying? In the Bible, they were kept saying that, you know, I urge you, you know, to strain every nerve to keep the bond of peace. Philippians 2 and 2 talks about the importance of being like-minded. You know what I'm saying? And 1 Corinthians 1 and 10 talks about the importance of not being divided. The, uh, you know, the Bible talks about how where there is unity, there is strength. And then even um, Matthew 18 and 19, Jesus was even saying, he said, again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth about anything that they may ask, that you may ask, it shall be done for them by my father who is in heaven is not a it's not a maybe it's not a, oh i don't know it's not even a hocus pocus kind of thing but it's if two come together 
touching and agreeing on a thing that it shall, it's a definite promise, that it shall come to pass, that God will make this thing happen. So this is the importance of unity. This is the importance of being around or being connected to people who want to see each other grow, who say encouraging words, Amen. inspiring words, you know, to build Amen. one another up and not to tear one another down. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Miss, and Mr. there's Shea a Sam. I, I, Go ahead, Mr. Dr. Shea, Kelly. Mr. Shea Sam, I, I want to just kind of uh, expound on, in other words, I want to commend Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Malloy for, for sharing that out of her heart and for you for bringing that question. Amen. Solomon. Amen. In that very, very text, in that very, very book. And I just want to expound on this just, it, just a 60 seconds. Amen. When there... The iron shop is iron, he says, so a man sharp is the continence of his friend. Amen. 30 mm-hmm. seconds. 30 seconds. I want, I, want, I want your listeners to get this. Amen. And once again, thank you for having us. Praise God. I know we can talk about PTI, but this is important right here yeah. for such a time as this. Amen. There is a mental, and Mr. Brandon, amen, Royce, will, will uh, amen on this. Amen. And Mrs. Paula G, <laughs> amen. There is a mental sharpness mm-hmm. that comes from being around good people. God's people. I'm going I'm to say that again. There's a mental sharpness that comes from being around good, godly, strong, sound people. Like my, my, my mother taught me this. My father taught me this. Amen. Jesse Jackson. All these people who God allowed me to stand around. And a meaning, a meeting of the minds can help people see their ideas m- more clear. In other words, refine them and shape them into the brilliance, the brilliance, amen, that God has into you. So in other words, and I'm finished, this requires discussion, partners, who can challenge each (laughs) other, just as you are in stimulating thoughts. People who focus, amen, their ideas without attacking each other. Amen. Yeah. In other yeah. words, yeah. In other way, without, come on, somebody. Amen. In yeah. other words, yeah. Amen. the friends who bring the ideas together can help each other become sharper. Powerful Absolutely. question, ma'am. Powerful question. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. I, and I'm, you know what? I'm thank you. I thank you for expounding. And that's what you're here for, Dr. Kelly. So Absolutely. I just appreciate Absolutely. it. Um, if you feel the need, just go right ahead. Um, I wanted to, I know that we, we have Brandon for a short period of time. Chanel, I do want to commend you as well, because a part of this passage is if you want to be, if you want a better job, you hang out with experts in the field, not someone who's unmotivated or unfocused. If you want to Absolutely. see God move supernaturally in your life, you hang out with people who believe in God's power. And so I think mm-hmm. a lot of people, People get hung up on hanging around the wrong people. So I was looking at 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good seed. Bad company Mm -hmm. ruins good. There's different passages. And so, Brandon, I want to give you that scripture and ask you to expound on it in your way. Which one? The 1 Corinthians? 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Yes. Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. Absolutely. Powerful man of and, God. And and before I do that, uh, something just came to me while I was um, listening. Um, and it, it's pertaining to, you know, the way that women are portrayed in the media and, you know, just mm-hmm. using this platform as a as a model for what women should aspire to. Um, you know, unity, sisterhood, um, being being united for one singular purpose and that being kingdom building. And so I was just thinking about, you know, uh the Nicki Minaj and Cardi B beef. And, and again, it, it, it just speaks to how um, you very rarely see, you know, unity being um, propped up and celebrated, but rather, you know, the the beef and the dissension That's and good. the hate and the animus is what gets propelled. Um, and so I just think, you know, this is a great platform and uh, I'm just praying for it to be fruitful and bountiful and for it to flourish um, the way that God intended it to um and so I just salute you for that. But getting getting back to your Amen. question, Amen. Amen. Uh, getting back to your question, I mean, uh, that that's a a very profound verse. It's it's very um, poignant, you know, not only for this discussion but just period, because oftentimes mm-hmm. we surround ourselves with people um, for many reasons, whether it be just familiarity, comfortability, um, you know, his, past history, and we and we just settle 
for these people in our lives instead mm -hmm. of doing an examination both of ourselves mm. and them mm. and deciding whether or not that they help us produce good fruit or bad, or bad fruit um, because God has told us that that's how he knows us by the fruit that we produce and our company is a part of that fruit because if those people are dragging us down then they're most likely also dragging us away from God so uh, you know, it just behooves us to be around mm -hmm. like-minded people. Not saying that everybody has to be at the same level that we are, but just people that have the heart of God and, and, and a mind that wants to to please and, and put God first. And then he'll take care of mm -hmm. the rest. Um, he'll allow us to learn from them and vice versa. And for us to grow together, for us to learn together, for us to struggle together. Hallelujah. For us to do all of that together, but in the end, standing up triumphant because we are about God's business. Amen. I love it. Amen. I, I absolutely love it. I love it. I'm going to go to Paula G, Lady Wisdom After Midnight, and I want to talk about the good company that we kept. So Paula G, <laughs> Wisdom after, uh, Paula G, Lady Wisdom After Midnight, she, you know, she had a show, 11 o'clock, she would come on, and she and Jerry would have a good time on the late night radio, and she used to introduce us on the show. And then she stayed on the show with us one time, and we were just so delighted to have her because she brought to us a piece of wisdom that we young girls just didn't have and again Chanel don't say a word don't say a word <laughs> the, young, the younger folk the younger folk the younger folk we did not have and so she bought a piece of that wisdom and I remember hanging up the first show that she did with us and I thought to myself you know we never get a chance to hear two sides of the story. We always hear, you know, one generation, but not the other generation. And so I titled her Lady Wisdom After Midnight because, of course, she's, she was giving us, she was dropping some wisdom on us, and then it was after midnight. And so that name just stuck with her. But I wanted you to elaborate a bit more on what Brandon said, the bad company corrupts good seed. And I love what you said, Brandon. You said examine the seed. So Paula G., Lady Wisdom After Midnight, talk to us about examining the seed. So, you know, my my take on that, and thank you so much for that, Shay, for that eloquent way of uh, <laughs> saying that I'm an old lady. I appreciate you. Thank you, my yeah, old lady. <laughs> oh, yeah. you, are, you are wise. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing else. You are wise. <laughs> sage. Is she, is she, is she Patrice? Oh, my goodness. You are wise. <laughs> a wise sage. <laughs> Patrice, Patrice so I mean, man. I ain't so in mean. it. <laughs> You know, I'm I'm work I'm working on my dialogue. I'm working. On, I'm, you're doing a fabulous job. A fabulous job. Ain't nothing old about Miss Paula G. I know that. She just make us see her time. on Facebook workout. doing that workout. You yes, know, ain't nothing okay. old about Paula G. That's it. Hey, that's it. We gotta be We all know like okay, okay, all of us. We, we understand what you're really saying. <laughs> right, right, Patrice. Uh oh, Patrice. <laughs> Right, like, yeah, Shay, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> now you see, ladies and gentlemen, I am in the hot seat, Dr. Kelly. Dr. Kelly, I'm going to tell you what you just did. I'm, a, uh -oh, I'm, uh -oh. I'm going to, you you, I'm going to tell around. you what you just did. My Lord. <laughs> Dr. Kelly stayed behind the scenes. He didn't even get in it. He did no, not get he did. He left you out there. He left you out there. He did what he he did what he was supposed to do. Dr. Kelly knew exactly what he said, Listen, they got this. I will come up when I'm supposed to come up, but they are not gonna get me in the middle. In the middle. <laughs> A wise man. A wise yes, man. man. Brandon, you see why we need you, sir. We need you, sir. <laughs> we need you, Brandon. You better not go anywhere. He need, he needs you, Brandon. But yes, need so, your help, Brandon. so yes, um, so Lady Wisdom after midnight. You want to expound a little bit on that? Examining the seed. Mm. Uh, I forgot the question. What was the question? The, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> We we talk we talking about age okay. now, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I claim it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the examining, question, you, yes, examining the seed. The mm -hmm. there, there, and I'm just gonna, as you all were talking, things were coming to me. So this may not necessarily be in a chronological order, but I know that you all will pick up what I'm putting down. 
Two things I've always prayed for from from as long as I can remember, which is why it is so um, amazing that that you have given me this name, Lady Wisdom After Midnight, for years, from my early 20s. Two things I always pray for. One is wisdom, and the other is discernment. And, you know, as, as I'm, I'm listening to you all I'm, and we're talking about, um, you know, examining the seed, and there's just certain things that are coming to mind to study, to know thyself approved, to be solid in the Word of God yourself, to be solid in who you are, to be solid in who it is that God has called you to be or has created you to be. So as you connect, you have more of a discerning spirit of who to connect with and who not to connect with. Because if you are not in so- solid in who you are and solid in the Word of God, solid in who God has called you to be, one can be e- um, easily swayed. The mental sharpness, you all have heard me say it a million times. The greatest conversation you will ever have is the one that takes place in between your ears. What are you mm-hmm. speaking to yourself? Is God mm-hmm. a part of that conversation? And are we listening to his still, small voice? You know, when, when it comes to examining the seed, and I always share my, my journey in what I have experienced in life and what has helped me in life. God never, ever, ever fails me on this. When I, when I meet someone and I beca- begin to get close to a person, I ask, Lord, reveal to me what it is that I need to know. Mm-hmm. He never, ever fails me on that. He always reveals, whether it's a positive, whether it's a negative, what I need to know. He always reveals if it's a bad seed, he reveals it. If it's a good seed, he reveals it. He always reveals what it is that I need to know. So I would share and encourage those who are listening to be grounded in this Word of God, to study, to know thyself, approve, to know who you are in God, and, and, and to, to surround yourself with like-minded people. If, if we're not surrounded, if we're not building each other, if we're not encouraging each other, and Chanel, you know, mentioned about who, you know, when you are, are surrounded by others, who is helping you to grow being being surrounded by like-minded people, but also having someone in that circle that will help you to grow as well, so you can continue to do what it what it is that God is, has called you to do. But He has never ever ever failed me when I have prayed that prayer, and I encourage everyone to pray that prayer. Reveal to me what it is that I need to know, and by praying that prayer, the bad seed is revealed. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to show up. <laughs> yeah. It's so interesting that mm-hmm. that we're talking about seeds. Oh my goodness, this mm. has got to be the Holy Ghost. I am telling you, be and the reason why I said that is because I was just on Apostle Ross's show, Praise God, and we were talking about uh, the topic was the soil that affects mm. the seed. Come on. Um, and oh my gosh. <laughs> everything that everyone has said was basically it just goes along the lines of that and i think that's the message that god is trying to relay to us is that basically like the soil is the is the foundation you know what i'm saying of where the seed is planted the soil surrounds the seed it provides the seed all the essential nutrients that the seed needs to build the structure and to build that thing up to what god has created it to be and so there is a such thing as bad soil and so the you know and so there's a you know you have to make sure that wherever you are whoever you're surrounded with if there is bad energy bad vibes if there is negative talk is if there is if all of a sudden you are surrounded by people and you're you're on a a constant um uh negative thought pattern or you know just feeling mm-hmm. negative when you are around these people then there is a chance that you are surrounded or you are basically embedded in some bad soil and so god is yes, saying come ma'am. out from 
come out from amongst them and be ye separated from that everything that is not conducive for your mm-hmm. purpose, everything that's not conducive for growth. Come up out of there and be Hallelujah. separate and go to the place where God has ordained for you so that you can grow and so that God's purpose and his plan can happen and manifest in your life. And yeah. if, I could just, if I could just tag team on that, it, when that soil is, is, is bad, don't, don't try to embed yourself in bad soil, even though it might look good on the surface. It yeah. might look good on the surface. Don't do, no matter how good it looks on the surface, Lord Jesus help me. No matter mm-hmm. how good it looks on the surface, don't try to embed yourself and 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 be in denial about. Okay, yeah. well, I, I, you know, I'm 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 a good seed and I can turn this soil good. No, mm. no, no. Extract yourself from that. You wow. have to extract That's yourself good. from that situation. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's Amen. Good. Sometimes mm-hmm. we're in denial. That's really good. Sometimes we're in denial. I, we're in denial. Yeah. You know, sometimes, 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 sometimes. That's a dangerous. Oh, that's a dangerous yes. place to be. That's dangerous yes. because yes. bad soil will cause you to abort the ministry God birthed in you. Bad yes. soil yes. will even cause you to die. Mm-hmm. Say exactly. that. It will yeah. cause your spirit to die. This is the reason. Mm-hmm. Oh Lord, y'all gonna make me share what I share with this on, on, on Apostle <laughs> Show. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do Praise it. Praise God. Many posts. <laughs> but Lord, have mercy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> and yeah. Mrs. Paula. <laughs> Mrs. Paula G. Amen. In, in the uh, Christian party line. Amen. Allow the pastor. Amen. To share a little of what Jesus was speaking over in Mark 4 about those seeds, amen, in the soil, amen, 30 seconds. I like to do it in like a 30-second synopsis because, you know, God has allowed us to be, amen, um, I guess you can say uh, respectful to the Holy Spirit in his time for the most part. The 30 seconds, amen, the marks, and over in Mark 4, just that 14 to the 20th, the four soils represents four different ways people responds to God's message. Usually, uh, ladies and your listeners, Mr. Shea Sam, usually we think that Jesus was talking about, now you got to go back over there and study that, and Mr. Chanel, my Lord, you hit on a lot of it, amen. Usually we think that Jesus was talking about four different kinds of people, but he may have also been talking about different types of phrases. You know, the people, what people say, different phrases in a person's life or hmm. how we willingly receive God's message in the same areas of our lives and reset it in others. We're talking about that bad seed in the soil in the bad soil. So in other words, that soil, for example, amen, you, some people may not understand, amen, that your, your, your heart, amen, is where God needs to be. Mm. Your heart, amen, is where that seed needs to plant. Amen. That stony ground, amen, sometimes God, he'll send some people alone. And y'all, y'all know where we're going. He'll send some people along, amen, to begin to open up that stony heart. Many people are living with Jericho walls. They still have, and they carry those, that Jericho, wall, those Jericho walls around to, from different relationships. They won't allow God to plant. Powerful ladies. Powerful. Wow. Powerful. That was that was really powerful. That was powerful, mm-hmm. Dr. Kelly. Wow. The Jericho walls. I mean, I, I don't I don't even think that I've ever I don't even think that I've ever even thought about um wow, that's a that's a uh, yeah. I don't even know that I can do anything in thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, but that's that's I don't, years. Even know, I don't Oh, I don't even know if I, I would be able to um, expound. That's like a whole nother, like, two-hour show. Jerry, we can get a two-hour show next week. Uh, that would be really, really good because we got a lot to say. I, and I just posted it on um, YouTube. Um, well, I posted it a while ago, but for some reason, Holy Spirit had me do this again this week. But the power of the seed. I do a Monday inspiration message and post it on YouTube every Monday in the message a couple of weeks ago was just the power of the seed. And when I was going to go back this week and do one, I was just not led to do one. And I went ahead and just read, you know, just kind of did a review of one that I've done. And the one that I chose was the power of the seed. And so like Chanel said, it's just a message that's coming across all this week. So I, I hear, I hear God and I pray that our listeners and the viewers are, are hearing God, but that Jericho walls, 
I definitely want to expound on that a little bit. Um, we have our sister Patrice Jackson in the background, and so I do want to ask her um, a question, and I know that she will definitely, um, it, it's, it, it, these, these scriptures are really just based off of what we're talking about, and I promise you guys, I had them lined up, but the, it, you guys are talking, and the scriptures segue right into what you were talking about, so I can't, I can't make this stuff up. Definitely so <laughs> Proverbs 13, 20, Patrice Jackson, Proverbs 13, 20 says, whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the, the, but the uh, companion of a fool will suffer harm. I, I told you I can't make this up. I had these scriptures lined up already, and as soon as you say something or you end with something, it lines right up with the scripture. So Proverbs thirteen twenty: whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of a fool will suffer harm. Can you give us your take on that? Um, my take on it is that um, it's kind of like when they say success leaves clues, right? So when you are hanging around with wise people, you have no choice but to become wise You because you have to have conversations. You talk about your points of view. Um, you see the way people live. And, you know, I'm a big proponent of believing that you can preach way more with your life than you can with your lips. So mm-hmm. if you're hanging around people who are living, you know, successful Goal fulfilled, motivated, Christ um, Christ like lives. You have no choice but to see how it's done, and just to either duplicate it, be motivated by it, and just fall in line with what you, you know the goals that you wanted to reach. Amen, sister. Amen. Can I say something? Work, so work. That's amen. What I feel about you know that's that, about that, that scripture and about the the fools part of it. You know, of course, you know when you have some, we see that in social media. You know, people who have uneducated opinions <laughs> about <laughs> obvious things that you talk about that are educated, you can't even respond. It's not even, it, no, it takes no, there's even no use in even taking your time to respond to foolishness. Just yeah, yeah. And, like left to the mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, um, uh, my very first my very first conference that I um, hosted, um, one of the one of the segments in that concert, I mean, in the conference is God is in your singleness, and so the person who spoke on singleness that year, she talked about she talked to the women. She said, "You want to know where you are in your walk?" She said, "Look at your nightstand." She said, when you become a believer, your nightstand is full of all things that are that have to do with God. It's the Bible, your notes, it's everything that has to do with you being a godly woman. And she said, and eventually you start seeing those Essence magazines or you, you're reading, you're back to reading that book like, you know, uh, he dumped me and, and whatever she said. But she said, if you want to know where you are, take a look at your nightstand. And this was for single women. She said, if you want to know where you are within your walk, look at your nightstand. And it's something that simple. What we're saying tonight, and just before we go for, to our music, what we're saying tonight is that you have to t- take a look at your circle, take a look around, and you know where you jump from one stage to the next by the circle or the company you're keeping. If you t- if you looked one day, and I mean, I just, I talked about this a lot. I look at my circle now and I thank God for it because it has built me up and up enough to know that I am in the right direction. And then it makes me look at relationships in the past and realize, what was I thinking? But I realize, you know, the scales are off of my eyes. So I'm going to leave it there and just keep that thought. Everyone keep that thought because we're going to come back with that. And we're going to go to a muted play. Shay, I'm sorry, love. Yes. I believe Brandon had a question or a comment. Oh. Or did we want to do that okay. after the birth? Yes, I'm sorry. I think Brandon okay. had a comment. Brandon, Brandon has a comment. So go ahead, Brandon. If you have a comment, go ahead and. Oh, yeah. It's and, right. um. Yeah, very, very, really quickly, um, you know, you were talking about, you know, the wise, walking with the wise. Um, and I, I just think it's important for us to, you know, keep everything in proper context and just look at what exactly it means to be wise. And then so I was trying to find the passage in mm. Proverbs. I, I can't recall what it is, but I know that it reads as such, um, you know, that what is it? The beginning of wisdom? No. The, the fear of the Lord is the, the beginning, fear of, of, the wisdom, Lord. Is mm-hmm. the beginning mm-hmm. of wisdom. And so once we understand what wisdom is, then we can, you know, properly walk in and then be that model. You know, certain people, because, and I bring it up because the world has definitions for words. And then, you know, you know, the Bible has definition for words. So I just think it's important for us to understand that we ought to look at the Bible for our definitions. You know, and I could use great as another mm-hmm. example, but, you know, that, that'll take me to a whole other tangent. And I don't want to do that, but yeah, you know, I just wanted to share that about wisdom um, and, and just knowing that if if we really 
ought to call are to call ourselves uh, wise, then we have to have the proper reverence for God. Amen. Amen. And I, I, I agree with that, too, because I'm a words person. So I do look at words. Um, and so I, I tell everybody I did a study on love. And I remember my daughter asking, why am I looking at the, why am I doing a study on love? And I told her, I said, the world's way of loving will tell me that I can love you all differently. It will tell me, Paula, because you offer me this, I can love you this way. Chanel, because you dress the way that you dress, I can love you. Dr. Kelly, because of your word, I can love you. But the scripture of, and, and Patrice, because you are an entrepreneur and you get, you get the job done, I can love you. But the Bible clearly says that love is patient, love is kind. And, and I had to look up those words in order to identify how to treat people. So when I'm doing that, what is kind? What is patient? Because, again, the world shows us something completely different. And um, and so as you were talking, Brandon, I looked up the word wisdom, and it says the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment, the quality of being wise. There's another one that talks about submitting. Mm-hmm. And so... Um, Jerry, I don't know. I don't know if we want to take a music break at this time. It's twelve fifty three, but I do know that um, I do know that I want to do. I do want to study on that a little bit, Doctor Kelly. The word wisdom. Can you just can you drop a nugget on us about that? Yes, yes, Amen. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Brandon said it very well, Amen. Uh, Psalms one hundred and eleven and ten: The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All right. those who practice, Amen. Shay Sam's, Amen. All those who practice it, practice, practice it, have a good understanding of His praise that it endures forever, for the most part, Amen. So, so what? What are we saying, Amen? Another understanding of that reference is respect. And all, amen, is respect. In other words, amen, Solomon simply acts for wisdom and knowledge. That's right. Amen. So it, it, it has it has a, a, a powerful reference of God and respect. Amen. So in other words, and I'm finished, amen, 10 seconds. Y'all see, I like to, I, I, I have to be orderly in the spirit. God's words addresses all areas of human life. That's right. Amen. So when we use that word and we give that word and apply it to one, we're just not saying it out of just ego or making that person an ego. This gentleman has a wisdom voice. Mrs. Paula G has a, a wise spirit. So one who fears, that's the key, one who fears the Lord right. would take God's words on any subject before anyone else's words on this subject. One who fears God, that's the key. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Was well, somebody about to give somebody about to give something else? Amen. Praise okay. God. Uh I, I thought I heard someone. Um and so I wanted to at twelve fifty five, I'm gonna leave us all with this scripture and I would just like for everyone to elaborate on the scripture, what it means, and really just bless the listeners tonight as we yes. end this. Um, Jeremiah three fifteen, and I will give you shepherds Ooh. after my own heart who will feed you with knowledge yeah, and understanding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, who learned it? I said I can't make this. I can't make this stuff up. Wow. I can't make it up. So I'm going to start with Brandon because I know we only have him for a short time. So, Brandon, we, we end at 1 o'clock, and I want to see if we can get everyone in to elaborate and really bless the listeners before we leave out of here. Jeremiah 315, and I will give you shepherds after my own heart mm-hmm. who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Mm. Again, I think Pastor Kelly alluded to this in our other program, but, you know, the focus is after Amen. his own heart. And so, again, yeah. you know, God, God is commanded us to seek him first and and to seek the things of christ and to have the mind of christ so if we keep everything christ centered Mm -hmm. you know and god centric then everything else will be taken care of because in order to have a christ-centered life we have to know who christ was and then we have to have to you know at that point go into the word and so it, it all draws us back into the word and where we can have that communion and and have that growth and have that relationship and so that's really what you know uh being after God's heart means it means that you you, oh, you have submitted 100% to his will and not yours and that you'll do mm-hmm. any and everything you can for kingdom building 
whether that be sacrificing your life, which is what he calls us to do, you know, denying ourselves, taking up our cross and following him, you know, whatever he calls us to do, we do it willingly because we're chasing after his heart. Amen. Hmm. Amen. Amen. Any wisdom after midnight? <laughs> you know, we've heard the peace that surpasses all understanding. Mm-hmm. And I would venture to say that when we are seeking when we are seeking God and we are seeking that wisdom, we may too get to a point of the wisdom that surpasses all understanding as we get on that journey. Because you get to a point when you're when you're deep in the Word of God and you're understanding what it is that He has called us to do. And, and just like the Scripture says, and I will give you shepherds according to my heart and will feed you with knowledge and understanding. I will feed you with knowledge and understanding. He gives us free will. So we have the free will to be fed that knowledge and understanding. The person standing next to you may not exercise that free will to 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 take of that knowledge and understanding, and therefore that person may not understand what it is that you say or what it is that you do because you have have feasted on that knowledge. You have feasted on that understanding. You have feasted on that wisdom. So know as you're going forth and gaining that wisdom, the wisdom of God, that not everybody will understand you. And at certain points, it may be a lonely path, but keep your eye focused on God. Keep your eye on what it is that he has, got, has called you to do continue to be led, guided, and directed by his word, and he will not fail you. Amen. Amen. And I want to encourage the listeners tonight, the the people who are viewing on Facebook Live, um, to, you you know, leave us encouraging words as well, because, of course, we need to, we need, we have one another, we have you, but definitely um, leave your thoughts as well um, in the comment section. Chanel Lynn Malloy. Yes, um, the scripture that comes to mind is Philippians um, chapter 2, verse 5, uh, where it says, Let this mind be in you, mm-hmm. uh, which was also in Christ Jesus, who did not uh, think that it was robbery um, to be equal with God, um, but he made of himself um, of no reputation, um, and he humbled himself, and he took upon himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself um, and became obedient to God to the point of death, um, even the death on the cross. For this reason also God had highly exalted him and had given him the name which is above every name mm-hmm. that at the, at the name of Jesus that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess of things in heaven and things on earth and things under the earth um, mm-hmm. that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father and what I'm saying out of this is to humble yourself have the mind of Christ that's the most important thing if you want to be if you want to be um uh, you know, you want to flourish in, in, in success and the, especially the things of God and, and in friendships and relationships have the mind of Christ to, you know, seek God, seek the kingdom of heaven, but most importantly, be humbled that that's the mind of Christ. He was humble and he didn't, you know, he didn't make himself a reputation. You know, he, he done, he was obedient. Everything that he did was out of obedience to God, the father. And so when we walk in humility and when we are obedient to God, it is God who will exalt us. Praise God. Amen. 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 Patrice Jackson's, um, she actually uh, got disconnected. So we're, uh, we'll, we'll see if she comes back. But Dr. Kelly, what I'd like to, for you to do, if you can, sir, go ahead and elaborate on that scripture and close us out in prayer. And it's one o'clock. It's one oh one. And so we'll go, amen. we'll take it out from there. Yes, ma'am. Once again, amen. Mr. Shea Sam, amen. The Christian party line. Thank you for having all of us on tonight. But real quickly, in a two-minute synopsis, that scripture, Jeremiah 315, amen, this was Jeremiah's plea. This was Jeremiah. He was urging the people to turn from their sin. And here, this is one of God's promises, Mrs. Shea Sam's. 
Amen. Mr. Brandon Sampson, Miss Paula G. Amen. Miss Chanel. Amen. Miss Patrice Jackson. God promised to give his people leaders, not just any leaders. Amen. But shepherds after his own heart, not after someone else's heart, but God's heart who will follow him filled with knowledge, wisdom and understanding. That's what he promised. Amen. So in other words, even when when Jeremiah, a man was was preaching and teaching, God saw Israel's lack of direction. So He promised to provide him the right kind of leadership, and you and we find that once again. I said that in the early show here on Positive Power on your platform, Mrs. Chanel. Amen. So we look and trust leaders for guidance and direction. This is for your leaders, but if they do not follow God. They will lead us straight. It'll go back to that bad soil. So pray for God's honoring leaders in this nation, most importantly, in our communities, in our churches, and those who will, amen, do those who would be good examples, Mr. Nail, amen, those who would be good examples, good examples in bringing us God's wisdom. Thank you, ma'am, for having us. We're very honored. And thank you all for celebrating also with us on Pastor's Time International Bible College. We thank Jerry Royce as well. Amen. Both Paula G. and Jerry Royce, we're honored to have them. Amen. As honored board advisors. Amen. Thank you once again for having us. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Amen. Amen. And Dr. Amen. Kelly, you're going to, is Patrice back on? Okay, Dr. Kelly, if you could, uh, first I just want to say, Brandon, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Yeah. Chanel Lynn Malloy, Patrice Jackson, and Paula G., Lady Wisdom After Midnight. This was an awesome, awesome show, and I pray that it blessed you. I pray that it blessed the ears that are listening tonight. Dr. Kelly, if you can pray us out, and we will end on that note. Perfect. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Dr. Dr. Kelly, I'm sorry. Let us look to heaven. Before, before yes, you do, ahead, I just sir. wanted to say thank you um, again. Yes, sir. Uh, you, you ladies have have thoroughly impressed me. I love the the energy. I love you know most importantly the fact that I can feel Christ all in through this show. And so I just applaud My you Lord. all for the platform. And um, I just you know pray for continued success. Um, you know that you continue to seek you know the kingdom first and foremost in and through all things, and that you are bountifully blessed as a result. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We, gotta, we gotta have you back on the show. We're gonna call your cell phone and bring you in, no matter where you are. That's fine. I'm with it. <laughs> <laughs> Powerful commentary, sir. Powerful uh, devotionals. Amen. And we're honored to have that shared on this platform, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Brandon, and thank you once again, Christian Party Line. Amen. Are we ready, Amen. sister? Amen. And the obedience of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us look to heaven. Amen. And no, not only that, we thank Mr. Jerry Royce. Amen. For opening up. Amen. His spiritual airways. Praise God. Let us look to heaven. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not want on tonight. Oh, God. Oh, God, you make it us to lie down in green pastures. God, you, you lead us beside the still waters. And most importantly, Lord, amen, even even in the times of trouble, oh God, you restore our soul. You restore our soul that we can walk in wisdom. You restore our soul that we can walk together in love and unity. And, oh God, you lead us in the path of righteousness, the path of righteousness, oh God, to your love. Oh God, the path of righteousness, amen, to help those, oh God, along the way. Amen. For your name's sake, O oh God, yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadows of death, God, we will fear no evil, for you are with us, O oh God. Thank you on tonight, God. Thank you. Oh God, your rod, your rod and your staff, they comfort us. Thank mm-hmm. you, Holy Ghost. Yes. And you prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Oh, God, yes, they can watch for a far off, the enemy can. They can watch us at your table. That you prepared for us. And oh God, Father, when you prepared that, that table, you became a servant. A servant, literally, amen, as you prepared the table. Amen. And you, and you anoint our head with all. Thank you, God, for anointing, amen, the Christian party line. Thank you, God. And our cup is running over with love. 
Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is our prayer. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our heart, let it be acceptable in our sight. Mm -hmm. You are our strength, and you are our redeemer. Bless the Christian party line. Party line, bless positive power. Bless, amen, all those who own the positive power platform and bless every listener and viewer on tonight and bless someone out there oh god who has accepted christ yes. on tonight mm -hmm. and has given them your heart they could have been anywhere on tonight but they chose a man to be here mm -hmm. and fellowship on the christian party line in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. amen. and let the redeemer of the lord say amen glory, glory. hallelujah amen, amen. 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 Thank you so much, Dr. Kelly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you have it. We, uh, we want you to have a super, super, super fantastic start to your morning. There will be no next man up tomorrow morning because they are on now on Friday nights with us at 10 p.m. Shout out to Pastor's Time, Brandon Royce, Batman, a.k.a. Well, Jerry Royce, a.k.a. Batman, Positive Power 21. Dot org internet radio. Oh, Paula G, <laughs> voice lady after midnight. Chanel is Wood and Patrice Jackson, and we are out. There's nobody like you. See them. Worldwide podcast. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double X. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in. You just finished listening to Next Man Up, Late Night with Jerry Rose Live Worldwide, and Paula G, The Voice, and the Christian Party Line with Shay Samuels, Chanel Lemon Lloyd, Patrice Jackson, and Lady Wisdom. And from PTI himself, the Dean, the President, Dr. Paul Kelly. We want to thank Brandon Royce for joining us with this long broadcast. <laughs> you hung in there, y'all. It's all good. I'm Jerry Woods Live Worldwide on the Positive Power Double XI Christian Media. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next week at 10 o'clock. And don't forget to go out to PastorsTime.com and check out the Bible College. It's up and running, y'all. So sign up. All right? PastorsTime.com. Amen. You are listening to Jerry Woods Live Worldwide Podcast.
Mario priesthood. You ain't no Eastwood, homie. Don't be phony. It's more than I like to chase that guacamole. Before your embryo, before your people did the nasty. God knew you gave your purpose to be born into like family hand picked to assist in a time like this. To spark a chosen generation on a radical bliss. It's a test. Don't decline if I was built in your design. Submit it to the Christ and your life you will find. To the core, don't ignore what you were born to live for. You're a quilt built like a battleship. He's the source. I've been searching high and low. Yes.